Hi, most of you are likely familiar with the signature and handwriting animation in After Effects. But in this tutorial, I'll be demonstrating a unique approach to this method. In this video, I'll show you how to create handwriting animations using a 3D pen, resulting in stunning and dynamic visuals. It's good to note that the pen is rigged using the joysticks and sliders script. You can find the course link about this script on top of the video, which will guide you through rigging using the joysticks and sliders script step by step. Alright, without further ado, let's start. I've put this project as a template on our website, which you can find by clicking on the link above. With this controller, I can adjust the position of the 3D pen. And by tweaking the joystick controller, I can rotate the pen in 3D as demonstrated. Additionally, I can switch to a different pen using this drop-down menu here. Okay, let's get started. To create the handwriting animation, the first step is converting the text into a shape. For instance, I already have this signature shape ready to go. And now I want the 3D pen to move along the signature shape. To do that, I copy the path of the shape and paste it for the position of the 3D pen controller. It's important to note that for the 3D pen to match your shape path perfectly, your shape layer must be made 3D. Then I need to reset the position of the both shape and pen controller just like this. The signature shape actually has two shapes. First, I copy the path of the shape 1 and paste it for the position of the pen controller. Then 10 frames after the last keyframe, I copy the path of the shape 2 and paste it for the position of the pen controller. Now as you can see the pen moves along the path of the signature perfectly. Additionally, even if you create the handwriting effect using a mask, a stroke or the write on effects, you can still copy the mask path and paste it onto the pen controller's position. This ensures the pen aligns perfectly with the text. Ok, after animating the pen, let's make an animation for the signature shape 2. You can do that by adding a trim path modifier to the shape 1 and creating keyframes for the start and end. To do that, I go to the beginning of the timeline and create a keyframe for the end and set it to 0. And exactly on this keyframe, I set the end value to 100. You can do the same for the shape 2. Add a trim path for the shape 2. And right when this keyframe is there, I create a keyframe for the end and set it to 0. And here, I set it to 100. Now, as you can see, the animation of the signature shape is perfectly synced with the pen animation. If after creating the animation, you want to change the position of the signature and the pen align with their animation, just select the shape layer and the position of the pen controller and move them wherever you want. I think here is better. Now let's talk about rotating the pen using this joystick controller. First, I make all of these keyframes easy ease so the animation will look better. I want the pen to be placed next to the papers on the table at the beginning. To do that, I put the indicator about second 1 and I move the beginning of the animation here. I also want the pen to move quickly for the second shape. So I select these two keyframes and move them to the left so the pen would move faster and I set their influence to 80. I think it's very good. I go to the beginning of the timeline and using the pen controller, I put it next to the papers. Now let's talk about the joystick controller. Using it, you can easily rotate the pen in 3D. I create a keyframe here, and in the beginning using this joystick, I rotate it like that. I make these two keyframes easy ease. I set the influence of these two keyframes to AD using the motion to a script. Let's check it out. 
looks nice. From this keyframe on, I can adjust the rotation of the 3D pen according to the path of the signature. Well, after animating the joystick for the end of the animation, I want the pen to slow down here a little bit and finally place it next to the papers. To do that, I copy these two keyframes and after five frames, I paste them. After one second, using the pen controller, I move it right here and I rotate it like that. Let's preview the results. Very good. You can also easily switch between your pens using this drop down menu without causing any issues with your animation. Okay, that's it. I hope you find this video useful. Don't forget to like, comment, and hit the bell so you don't miss out on any more videos. Thanks for watching.